What's up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome back to another pottery video. Did you like how I changed the uh, the rhythm of that? Welcome back to another pottery video. To another pottery video. 2019. Check out, I hope you got everything you wanted for Christmas. Look what I got for Christmas. John the Potter. Gotta rep that in the YouTube channel, right? What do you think? Frontwards? Backwards? Today, my wife came home yesterday with a plant, right? A plant, like, no, the, the plant's like pretty big. But the pot is like 10 inches by nine inches on the top and then by seven inches on the bottom. And she wants me to make a planter. So that's a pretty decent size pot. So she wants me to make a planter uh, that that pot would sit inside. So there's some, I'll put a picture in it. So it's pretty big and I thought, this would be make a great video because basically we have to measure not very much margin for error in this project because there's a stand for it that's 10 inches on the bottom and then the pot is basically eight inches. And so we have to get that pot to fit. It can't be bigger than that 10 inch stand and it has to be bigger than the eight inch pot. So it's kind of a small margin for error on this project. And we have to know, we have to kind of take into account the shrinkage rates of the clay. Uh, we have to make sure that we start with enough clay because we don't want to like be throwing it too thin and not be able to have enough clay. So yeah, it's one piece. We're gonna do a video on it. I'm gonna get on the wheel and throw it. Probably gonna start with like 10 pounds of clay just to make sure that I have enough and I can always trim it down. But basically we're accounting for, I'm not sure the exact shrinkage rate of my clay, which is bad, I should know. But we're gonna know after this project is finished because I'm gonna throw it exactly 12 inches tall, 12 inches. Then we're gonna throw it 10 inches on the top, eight inches, no, probably more like nine. I have it written down somewhere. I hardly ever do things that are this exact, but you know what? Let's do it. This one's about five pounds. This one is also about four and a half pounds. So about nine pounds, we're just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna wedge this up like pretty hardcore. I always have to wedge from this way instead of the other way. So this is big. I don't throw big things like this that often. Why do we wedge? Pause the video right now, go comment below. Why do you think we wedge? I remember being asked this question like right away in college. Why do you think we wedge? Get the clay consistent. Number two, get any air bubbles out. Number three, warm up your body. There's probably other reasons too. All right, let's do it. Ready for this? Got our sponge, got our tape measure. 12 inches tall, 11 top wide, nine bottom wide. Here's our clay. <gasps> Boom! All right, enough playing the bongos. Let's do this thing. Let's do it! Let's get wild. Feel something in the clay. Little, uh, what is that? Huh? Oh, something. Little piece of something in the clay. Glad I got that out now. Take my needle tool. I use my needle tool to measure the bottom thickness to make sure that I'm not going down too far and to also make sure that I am not leaving like a ton of clay. Always better to have a little too much clay though, because you can always trim it off. All right, so we need the bottom to be, all right, that's about good for that. I'll just take a second and kind of smooth out that bottom a little bit. Now bigger pieces like this take significantly longer than mugs. All right, now I'm gonna start pulling up. Nine, that's nine inches right there. Wow, I thought 10 inches would have been plenty, or 10 pounds would have been plenty of clay, but I could, been, I could be wrong. I mean, we got a lot of height we gotta get. That's only what, we're halfway there. I should have started with more clay is what I think. 
Where are we at? Seven inches? There's no way we're getting to 12. How much are we across right now? We are at nine, so we're good on that front. I might, I might just throw it in two pieces, actually. I might throw another and then join them. This is a great throwing sponge, this Mud Tools one, but it doesn't sop up the water very well. I should definitely want to sop up the water. Okay, so do not start with enough clay, but that's okay because we are nine by about eight. So we need to, we're just gonna throw a four, like four more inches um, and then join them. Yep, yep, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm taking these calipers right now and I'm gonna measure so that I can throw another piece to put on there and then we'll join them. All right, did not start with enough clay. Note to self, I'm throwing 12 by 11 by nine Start with like 15 pounds of clay. All right, part two. Basically now, we just want this circle to be the exact size of the top of that. Which we just went a little too wide. Probably put a fan on them so we can hopefully get to it today. Then I'll just score around here, add some slip, flip this over, whoops, and put it right on top. We'll be back in a few hours to try and join these guys together. Okay, we are back. And so, as you can see behind me, right here, we put a fan onto the pots that we threw earlier as to try and speed up the drying process so that we could work on them today. And they're definitely not quite ready to be worked on, but I'm just pretty impatient, so we're gonna go for it. Now keep in mind, I'd never ever do large two-piece pots, so this could be a complete fail, which many people have commented how they like seeing me fail. I don't really know how to feel about that. I do believe that not being afraid to fail is one of the keys to being successful. If you're afraid to fail, you might never learn anything. You might never create anything special. So I have my scoring tool here, so I'm just gonna score the top of this. Since we're joining two pieces, it's always a good idea to score. Score that, and then we'll just put some slip on there. We're gonna take this. You know, you can never really, I mean, you can put too much slip, but it's better to have too, a little too much slip than too little. Since I have a, an abundance of slip all around me, I might as well. All right, ready for this? guys. That's a pretty good fit right there. Ready? Boop. Now we just like throw these two pieces together. So actually I take that back. You know what I thought was gonna gonna be too soon and I was just impatient. I think that was actually the perfect time. So basically, I am using a rubber rib to join the two from the outside, and then I'm also gonna do it from the inside. 
Dude, this is really fun. I might get into doing giant pots like this. So what are we at right now? Oops, we are at, oh, 12 inches, about nine and a half. So I can make the top a little bit wider. I think I wanted about 11. And then the bottom, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's probably around nine. I'm just gonna take a little bit. This is one of the bigger pots I've thrown in a while. 12 inches wide, nine inches at the bottom, 15 pounds, not too bad. Well, this video started out as how to throw a big planter with 10 pounds of clay and turned into how to throw a two part, 15 pound giant planter. This thing is big. This thing might be the biggest piece I've ever thrown. All for my wife. So, Thanks for stopping into the studio today. Join me in one of the next videos if you wanna see us glaze this, unload it from the kiln, do the other parts to it. But that could be weeks from now, so I'm not gonna to wait to do the whole video. If you have any questions about throwing two parts, if you have any comments, like you were stupid for doing it this way, you should definitely do it this way. If I did this again, I'd probably just start with like 15 pounds of clay and just throw this in one piece. But since I started with 10 pounds and then I got, and it wasn't enough clay, then I thought, well, I'll just throw another piece and join it. So yeah, best way to do it is if you can do it in one piece, that's better. But if you have to do it in two pieces, obviously it works too. Well, it hasn't worked yet, but hopefully it will work. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share, hit me up on Patreon. Comment below with any ideas for other videos. I got, I think I got 12 videos that I wrote down in my head that I wanna do, so no shortage of ideas. We'll see you in the next one.